What's up guys? Today we got a pretty cool video. We're going to be going over a lot of the tools that I purchased off camera and just haven't had a chance to show you guys. And it's going to be some stuff that you're probably going to be interested in. Some of it's new, some of it's not so new as far as just come out on the market, but they're all really cool tools. And we're going to do a little bit of tool talk today because obviously this is a huge week in the tool industry that we're coming up on. There's no Matco video today because my Matco dealer is driving to the show that they're having next week. Obviously right now as we speak on camera, the Mac show is going on and I've got the pictures of the brand new RBRT wrench that I'll put in this video and let you guys take a look at. So let's get this thing started. Let's do it. All right, guys, like I said in the intro, this week is a huge week for tools in general as the Mac tool show is going on now. And there's a lot of new products coming out with Mac. And this next week, the Mac Co tool show will be going on. So there's a lot of new stuff that's gonna be there. But obviously we haven't done a tool haul video in a while and I've collected quite a bit of stuff that I haven't shown on camera. And it may be some stuff that might help you in your day to day. So before we get started, like I said in the intro, the Mac Tool Show is going on now and Mac has come out on the Precision Torque Wrench design and came out with an RBRT version of the wrench. Now obviously I haven't used it, it just come out, it's brand new, but I do have some pictures that I'll put in here and let you guys take a look at them. They've added some more um, kind of grooves in the open inside of the wrench as well as in the boxed inside. So I'll be looking forward to getting my hands on those and that way we can give them a trial run and see if they work as good as the other RBRT products that's on the market. Um, obviously, you know, there's going to be a lot of brand new products that's coming out from these two tool shows and we're looking forward to it. I know Matco's got several new products coming out. They've just launched the purple color. Um, it's going to be pretty cool to see what all's coming from these shows and I look forward to our dealers all getting back in and seeing what kind of cool deals that they've got and seeing the new filters product, you know, filter in on the truck. Um, it's going to be pretty cool to see that. But in front of me, I have quite a bit of new products that I've purchased, um, that I haven't shown on video. Some of them you actually seen on video, but we'll actually go through it here and cover some of this. I've got products from SK, Vim, uh, Ernst, Thexton, Koken, Knipex, Maxion. It's all kind of different uh, varieties of tools. And once again, this video is not sponsored. Nobody's paying me to do this. This is all my personal opinion on the products that I have here in front of me that I've chosen. Um, Obviously, one of the new cool things is the new colors that they have on the 2020 Streamlights. I know you guys that follow my Instagram seen it the day these come out and we showed them on the Mac video. But if you're not familiar with the Stinger 2020, this is what the light looks like. You know, it's a completely different design from your normal, you know, standard round flashlight. I do like it because you can lay it down. It doesn't roll off. I like the dual charging features that it has and I'll cover those. It has the normal drop-in charger that you would normally see on the Stinger. But what else is cool on this one? You can open the waterproof battery door, pull the batteries out, and you can see each one of the batteries has a charger port built in on the battery. So if you get out and you're out on the road or you forget your charger at home or whatever, you can always charge the light with the charging cord. And it does save you quite a bit of money by purchasing the light only without having to purchase it with the charger because almost everybody's already got a Stinger charger anyway. Pretty cool light. Like I say, they've got it in the blue here that I have and also the red color. Um, it's got two ways you can turn it on. It's got a power button on the tail cap as well as the top of the light and it's got three different settings low medium and high and high is supposed to be 2000 lumens um, 
pretty cool light, just something a little bit different. Obviously, I'm a fan of blue, so that's why we've got this one. But that is the new Stinger 2020 in blue. Um, one of the next things I picked up is, is from a company that used to be ultra popular, and they've kind of fell out a little bit over the years as they've had some financial trouble, but that is SK. This is an American-made wrench set. This one goes from an 8 to a 22 millimeter. It's none of the fancy bells and whistles with the flank drive plus or the grooves or the cutout jaws or none of the, you know, cool factor stuff. This is a standard American-made wrench set. Obviously, it's high chrome plated, and you can see it appears to be an Ernst manufacturing wrench holder that it's on. But you can see they're pretty nice wrenches. There's nothing super fancy about them. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's an American-made wrench. A lot of people have kind of given them crap because some of the markings may not be perfect. As you can see, this one's highly offset from the top. The rest of them are pretty good, but this one looks like it may have shifted a little bit when they... Um, decided to stamp it but it's not perfectly in the center but nonetheless they're high quality wrenches and i was looking for another set of wrenches to add for one of my trucks and i decided to go with sk um you know it is what it is i know they've you know there's a lot of talk in the tool community about them being sold to great star i think's the company and it is a chinese made or chinese owned company but SK's been around for years and years and years in the United States. I know my grandfather was a big SK fan. He had a lot of SK tools that was passed down to me. Um, I know they went through bankruptcy a couple times, but it appears that they're keeping the manufacturing here in the United States, which is always a good thing. Um, one of the next things I want to go over is from them. We love them tools. Those guys are great. This is a pretty much the same set. One's larger than the others. I'll open them up and show you. But it's their hub cleaning kits. Uh, this is the HSC 100. And the way this works, um, it goes, comes with a power adapter bit so you can put it in your quarter inch drill or your quarter inch driver and it comes with these different cleaning attachments as you can see here they simply snap in here and then you know you can put it over your studs clean your hubs with it when you get ready to change it you simply push the detents they pop out it comes with a set of four that have like the 3M type scouring pads on the end. That's one of the kits that come in the box. The other one comes with the wire brushes. It looks kind of like a battery terminal cleaner and that will clean the rust off, the rust and corrosion off the lugs themselves. But like I say, they do have two different kits. This is the 100 version and it is made for cars and medium duty stuff. They also have the HSC 200 and this is for larger stuff, you know, bigger trucks, stuff like that. It comes with the same adapter here that goes together with a quarter inch power shank on it. And they have a 23 millimeter hub cleaning pad as you can see, as well as the 23 millimeter wire brush attachments that's in this one. So it'll make cleaning up hubs a whole lot quicker and easier. And you can also buy the replacement pads from them, uh, whether you want these attachments with the 3M type surface or the wire. So they do sell the refill kits for them. So when you burn them out, you can get them replaced. So that's always a good thing. But while we're on our Vim show here, we will show you these drill bits that they have. It comes with the magnetic base, as you can see here, and they hold very well. 
so you don't have to worry about it. You can stick them on the side of your box. You can stick them on uh, anything magnetic and they'll hold. But what's really cool about these, as you see, they have the quarter inch power shank on them. So you can use it in your quarter inch impact um, or your screw guns, whatever you want to call them. But it's pretty cool. They got the kind of a hyper step bit tips on them here. As you can see, it's kind of a little bit of a step bit. It's like a four or five step on it. So it should work as well as the hyper step bits. These are really cool. It's always nice to have a, you know, something quick to throw in a quarter inch gun. And that way you can use, uh, pop a hole whenever you need it. Fast, efficient, easy. The magnetic base is awesome. Like I say, this is, this is one of the new products from Vim. So check these out. Obviously Ernst makes a lot of really good toolbox organization kits. Uh, this is a really cool set here. I left this on here so we can show the part number. This is a 5505HV for high-vis. Um, they do a really good job with these. I'm a fan of the high-vis color. Obviously, Ernst is made in the United States, if you didn't know that. Now you do. But it has sort of like a rubber um, cushioning in the bottom of these plier racks. And that'll keep them, like when you slam your drawer, it won't let your pliers come forward. It looks really good. I'm a fan of the high-vis color. And you simply put your tools in there. You slam the drawers. And as you can see, that rubber grips very well. So if you're looking for a plier rack, take a look at these. They've got them in all different colors. I know they got them in red, uh, black, green, blue and obviously the high is. They may have some other colors, I don't know. But they've got a lot of cool stuff. They've got some really nice socket organizers, bit organizers, um, the little square toolbox plastic trays. I actually got two of those in blue because obviously I'm a fan of blue. But um, they make some really cool products and they're made in USA. So take a look at those. E-R-N-S-T Manufacturing, I believe is their Instagram if you want to check them out. Really cool stuff. The next thing I picked up was from Thexton. It is the Master Terminal Tool Kit. Um, this one actually has 23 different terminal tools in it, six different Dutch, Dutch terminal tools, and one brass brush. This is pretty cool because it comes in a little plastic case. Um, in the top lid here, it shows you all of the stuff and kind of what it's used for. Uh, it gives a different part number and that way if you break one or damage one, you can get them replaced without having to buy the whole set, which is always nice because you guys know if you have terminal tools, you will break them. It's just the nature of it. Um, you know, especially when you get into the small pins such as this one to release terminals. It ain't if you break them, it's when. I don't even know if the camera can show that here, but you can see the way this one's made with that small split in there. Um, it's got a lot of Dutch connectors in here, so you can have plenty of choices when changing out terminals, and that's always a good thing. But this part number for this kit is a 935, and it is made by Thexton. It is made in the United States. It's hard to beat that. Really nice kit cool storage case check these out all right so the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is from Koken. we all love Koken, and this is the super coolest case you'll ever lay your eyes on it looks like this should have some kind of delicate electronics stored inside but it's not it's a really cool case you can see on the side you kind of pull it down to unlock it it's kind of like the fanciest Pelican case. It looks like James Bond would be toting around some kind of nuclear detonator in here. But inside, you will see wheel sockets. It comes with a 17, a 19, a 21, and 22. And these are really nice, high quality wheel sockets, as you can see. And it has the protective sleeve on it. If I can get them off, they're really tight fitting and 
there we go. And you can see how thin wall these are. So that's gonna be able to get into a lot of places and the protective sleeve is going to keep you from scratching your wheels. Um, they do sell replacement sleeves. So when you beat these up, you can get them changed out. But they're really cool. I like the color combo. I like the storage box. And Koken USA makes some excellent tools. So check these out. The case alone is pretty cool. But, um, you know, all jokes aside, Koken makes some fantastic tools. As you guys have seen a lot of them on the channel. And we're hoping to get a lot more Koken stuff as time goes forward. Looking forward to seeing all their new tools that they're coming out with this year. But this is one you guys should take a look at. While we're talking about Koken, here's a pretty cool little part. I had to leave it in the bag and I could remember the part number because it's not labeled. But the part number is a 110AL-100. And this is pretty cool for you guys that don't own a quarter inch impact for sockets. This will turn your quarter inch bit driver guns or your screw guns, whatever you want to call the quarter inch power shanks, um, into a quarter inch adapter for your sockets. It's got the quick release here, as you see. This goes in there. It's a hundred. Uh, millimeters long so it's going to work like a little extension this is going to be great for under dash work um, you know I'm planning on using it for coil packs stuff like that just something quick easy you don't have to have a lot of torque on and it's a pretty cool little tool to have in your tool bag so check that out from Koken if you do not own a quarter inch impact for sockets this is a cheap way to get more use out of your quarter inch screw guns. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is from Maxion. This is the Luma Stick 1000. Um, I'm a fan of the stick style lights. You know, with the battery technology the way it is today, everybody needs several good rechargeable lights for different situations which you're working on. This one has got the light in the end of it, as you can see. And one click turns it on medium or low or whatever the setting is there. The next one is on high, which is 620 lumens. Um, really nice. It has the waterproof cover for the USB-C charger. Magnetic base. You know, it rotates quite a bit in the directions. Rubberized handle. Can't really beat it, strong magnet. And we all know Maxion makes some excellent lights. They're not expensive, so no need to not own one. Um, I bought the smaller version of this and I really like it. The only issue was the battery life didn't last as long as I wanted it to. So I upped and got this one. Um, the little one's still kind of my favorite just because you can get it in more places and it's kind of out of the way. Uh, the larger one, you know, obviously being larger, it's going to not fit in as many places as easy, but hopefully the battery life will go a lot further. But this is the Lumastic 1000 from Maxion. All right, so the last run of tools that we're going to be taking a look at is from Knipex. This is their wire strippers. The part number is 1262-180. Um, these are really cool. It's the fully automatic wire strippers. It does have a wire cutter in the top. So if you're pulling it off a spool, rewiring a trailer, you pull it out, stick it in here, snap, you just cut your wire. It has the depth gauge on in here. You simply pinch it and you can pull it back and forth depending on how long you want it to be stripped. And this one is the tension about how hard it breaks down. Simply push your wires in, click, and they're stripped, ready to go. We all know that Knipex makes high quality pliers, hand tools, cutters, dikes, you name it, they've got it. Knipex is a fantastic company and I'm looking forward to trying these out. One of the next tools I got from Knipex is these cutters here. The part number is 9455200. Um, and it is an anvil style cutter 
rubber hoses, stuff like that. You can see how well these are going to work. I'm looking forward to trying these out. Um, but just cutting heater hoses, uh, you know, anytime you're working on the APU and replacing the lines going in there, um, reefer uh, work, anything like that, where you're going to be cutting hoses, vacuum hoses, whatever, these are going to come in handy. Clean cuts are very nice at times. Um, airline hoses, I figure this is going to be fantastic for cutting, you know, quarter inch, eighth inch, three eighths inch airline hoses. So looking forward to putting these through the paces. And the last tool that I got to show you guys is right here. It's also from Knipex. This is their comfort grip handle. It's part number 6102200. And they call these a high leverage bolt in cutters. They're designed for cutting off bolts or nails. And you can see where the hinge point is here. It gives you a lot of leverage on your cuts. So these will come in handy for nipping off, you know, trailer floor screws and stuff like that. That's what I actually got them for. Um, so looking forward to putting these through their paces. All right, guys, so that's kind of our tool lineup, the run through of all the new stuff that I've got that I haven't shown on video before. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I do have one other piece of information that I want to give you real quick. Um, obviously today is Friday, tomorrow, Saturday at 5 p.m. I will be doing a brand new video unveiling a brand new product that's coming on the market. Um, I'm super happy to get to bring this to you guys and show it to you. And it's something that's needed to happen for a while, uh, just to kind of give you a little sneak peek into what you're going to be looking at. It's a tool that was exclusively sold on one of the big three tool trucks. And obviously when you limit your, um, distribution channel to only one of the big three, it kind of cuts down your audience by, you know, 33%, like you're capturing 33% of what you could see. So um, I feel very fortunate that this company chose me to bring them out to the public and introduce them to the world. Um, and then for the tool dealers that may watch this channel, it's going to be a huge advantage to everyone on your route. Um, it will be a tool that will be sold exclusively through mobile tool network to the tool dealers. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing it. So hopefully you guys will set a reminder tomorrow, which will be Saturday, February the 18th at 5 PM to take a look at that video, because it's going to be some tools that's really going to help you guys out in the world. Um, and it's well worth our money. We've, we've talked about it quite a bit on this channel. I can't go very much further into it than that, just because I'm sworn to secrecy until tomorrow at 5 PM. But um, the video will drop, you guys will get to see it. And if you're a tool dealer and you're kind of on the fence about joining Mobile Tool Network, you know, it is what it is. It's a, it's a wholesale tool company like ISN or Medco or whatever, but they do have a lot of really cool new and exclusive tools that they bring to the market. And this is one of the first of many that they're gonna be having in 2023. So I'm really, really excited to be a part of this and get to see this kind of unfold to the world. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys that use tools every day, um, take away from it because I know it's something that's been needed to been happening for a long time. And I'm glad to see that it's coming forward now. So, uh, that's it guys. Tomorrow at five o'clock is probably one of the biggest tool launches that I'll ever get to do in my YouTube career. So I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, that's the tool haul. Hopefully, You've seen something that you could use, something that could help you in your jobs, or something that you just kind of want because it's pretty darn cool. But anyway, that's the video today, guys. Hopefully you like it. If you do, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And look, guys, it's totally free. It costs you nothing to subscribe to this channel. It's the simple press of a button. And there you go. That way you'll get notified every time we come up with something new and cool. But we've got a lot of really cool things in the works for 2023. Um, I've got a lot of really cool trips planned. Um, I can't go into detail with a lot of it right now, but you guys will see it coming forward in the new year. 
Uh, we got some factory tours coming up that we're going to be doing with some manufacturers. We've got some brand new product releases that's coming after the one you're going to see tomorrow. And it's uh, a lot of cool stuff coming. But anyway, guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost you a dime. You guys have a great week. See ya.